Folks, you may not realize, but the world has programmed you to be miserable. Every day, no matter what, no matter the topic, the world has become so polarized that regardless of the issue, someone will go out of their way to make you feel miserable about it. Like hamburgers? Meat is murder! Like veggies? Stupid hippie? Eat meat! Like a game? That one person on the dev team is toxic! Don't support them! Like a movie? That one actor did something bad! The tedious list goes on and on, and no matter what it is, no one wants you to enjoy it. No one. Ever. Music, movies, games, food, transportation, social media, art. Everyone has to pick apart everything and puke out their volatile opinions on you so you can't enjoy the thing you enjoy. So, what do you do? In a world that's been wired to be miserable, what can you do to be happy? Well, it all starts with a healthy dose of go to hell! That's right. As soon as someone gets all up in your face about whatever it is you're doing, how could you eat that? Did you know this company is known for go to hell? How could you listen to that band? The lead singer was accused of go to hell. Go to hell. I don't care, and neither should you. Stop caring what people think about what you do or what you like, because everyone else stopped long ago. They don't care about your happiness, your likes, your dislikes. They just go about their days screwing up everyone else's life because their holier-than-thou perspective justifies their toxic behavior. Whatever you want to call it, woke, cancel culture, virtue signaling, it all boils down to they're wired to be miserable on a chemical level. They look for drama so they can get that turmoil-induced dopamine hit and will go out of their way to look for conflict and start an argument. They're dopamine junkies. That is all. And much like addicts in real life, I don't care. I'm not here to be an enabler. I don't give a crap about your problems. Figure it out yourself, or go get help, and go to hell. I like what I like. But you can't. Watch me. And then, when you don't give in to their perspective, they try to guilt you. They try to play your emotions, much like an addict would. But, but you can't support that game dev. They have crunch time and, and poor working conditions for their employees. In instances like this, when people try to guilt me, I generally try to one-up them by saying, Dude, I don't care if they're chained to desks, getting involuntary caffeine IVs to keep them awake and working. 20-hour workdays? Still not enough. Get back to work and go to hell. How dare you? You are just so socially unconscious, it's embarrassing. Look, I'm all for being socially conscious, but to a point. If you're tweeting your discontent about corporations from an iPhone, check yourself, bro. Check yourself. Posting VODs about the impact of crypto mining on the environment. Um, you do realize your VOD is on a server with millions of others creating a negative impact on the environment and energy usage, right? You're aware of this, right? Human existence is terrible for the environment, period. You want to help the environment, don't have kids, and live a shorter life. Honestly, I'm just tired of addressing remedial logic problems no one can get past merely because their own ego or ideology stops them. The only word I can use to describe humanity at this point is tedious. Just tedious. It's like being a teacher who has to teach the same grade every year. You see a little bit of progress, but at the beginning of the next school year, you just get a fresh face of idiots making the same freaking mistakes they did the year before. And the cycle continues and continues. It's tedious. Exceedingly tedious. So, folks, if you feel like you're stuck in a cycle of combating human idiocy, just remember, a cycle is a circle, and sometimes the only way to break that cycle is to step outside of it. Remove yourself from it. And if people try to drag you back in, you can decline. Choose not to participate. Choose not to care. But you have to care. No. No, I don't. Here's some matches. Go play by a gas station. And here's the thing. It's not a matter of being apathetic or cold. It's a matter of not living your life miserable every freaking day because social media or the people around you IRL are telling you to be miserable. You have to worry about this. You have to care about this. Essentially, they're saying you have to waste your time, energy, and happiness focused on the misery of the world because if you don't, you're insensitive and you're part of the problem. You know what? 
sure, if you need to label me as such, fine. But I'm just trying to enjoy life. So live with that if you can. I mean, I don't know. Life is too short to waste it being miserable all the time. Okay? Help out when you can. That's what I do. But you really need to do something fun and not be miserable all the time. Okay? So, me, I'm going to go eat a gluten-filled cookie with nuts. Unfair trade chocolate packaged in a non-biodegradable wrapper. Probably if I can find them. I don't know. Why would you do that? People have peanut allergies and, and think of the planet. I don't have peanut allergies, so I can eat peanuts. As for the planet, I don't have kids and therefore have stopped potential future generations of resource-sucking beings from existing. You're welcome. Okay? You're welcome. I don't have kids, so your kids, now, thanks to me, will have more resources available to them merely because I decided to not have kids. So, go eat a cookie. I'm gonna go crypto mine or some crap, all right? Gotta find some hopium somewhere. I'm gonna enjoy life, whether you want me to or not. Tired of being stuck in an idiot plot. Nothing moves forward, nothing gets better. People who think they do, don't know any better. Cause their brains are dumb.